Hi guys, how you doing? My name's Randy, if you don't know me, and uh, I'm real happy to be here today. I'm the special guest on the podcast, and uh, I'm going to probably help host it. Uh, you know, uh, Mr. Leahy was in here about the last time and said uh, he made up with Julian and with Ricky and, and with Bubbles, and I think they're going to be on our podcast. So this is... It's good. It's so much better when everyone gets along. I mean, you know, we help each other out. I mean, now I can come in and have a meal. Oh, geez, there's chips too. This is great. So yeah, I'm really excited. I think that, that like I say, if you get along with people, it's a lot better because it makes life totally easy. And who doesn't want an easy life? Life should be easy. I don't think people should be fighting all the time. And I'm kind of excited because... I think it means that Julian likes me a bit more, and Ricky, and, well, Bubbles isn't here, but he said that the guys really like me. Those chips are good. Really. Anyway, I'm just setting the table here, and then we'll get things going. I hope, hope everybody likes this. All right, look, well, check this out. Burgers. Look at those. Perfect size. I think everyone's going to be very, very excited. There we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give myself two burgers. Oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck are you doing here? Why? Where's Bubbles? Bubbles said that I was going to be the special guest and host of your show. He, he, he's away, so... Oh, you so uh, you fucking kidding me. Yeah. Right, get the fuck out of my seat, you dumbass. He's going to play with my fucking seal again, isn't what? he? This is your seat? Get fucking the fuck asshole. up. Why are you guys... Did you touch these? I, I made these, Julian. You gotta go. I'm not fucking doing this thing with you here. Randy, get these fucking burgers out of my face. We gotta hurry up. I don't got much time. All right, you can leave now. What? What the fuck are you doing here? Bubble said, uh, asked me to be here and said that, that you've made up with Mr. Leahy and that uh, we're working together. Is your name Mr. Leahy? No, I'm Randy. Right. We made up with Mr. Leahy, sort of, not no, really. No, we didn't make up with Leahy at all. So what the fuck? Why are you here? I, I'm going to host your show. You're not hosting. I'm the host of this fucking show. Welcome to the show, everybody. Would you shut the fuck up? You can leave now. No, but I, I, we've got our own show as well, that uh, the Randy and Mr. Leahy show. Yeah. And, and uh, I I'm cannot... not going to be on it, by the way. I've been thinking about it. Not fucking happening. Me either. You... Bubbles can do it. Bubbles fucking got you guys here while he went and played with my fucking seal and whatever else he's doing. So he can do your fucking show. How many burgers you got left? You can stay here till your burgers are gone, then you get the fuck out of here. I'm tired. I haven't fucking slept this week, pretty much. Are they good? They're not bad. Actually, they're a little bit cold, but they're... It's like the right amount of meat to bun ratio. Well, it's very important to be It's all right. It's kind of cold, though, Randy. Well, it was a long walk for getting up here from where the barbecue is. Fuck's sakes. Oh, fuck. All right, so what, what the fuck's up? What's up with this thing? where I've been all week. I don't want to talk about it. It's personal. No, we're going to be talking about that, but first we got to get a few things taken care of first. All right. What's going on, fuckers? This is the official Trailer Park Boys podcast. It's coming at you right now, what I number? guess. What? What number is it? I was getting to that, man. It's, it's number 51. Ah. 51. So next podcast, it's going to be the... The big 52, the big one-year podcast, which is... Unless it's a... Is it a leap year? Because leap year has 53 weeks. It's not... No, it's 50... It's no, the that's one, year. one extra day, right, Julian? Oh, fuck off. Leap year's February 29th. So if you're born on leap year, you're four times as young as everybody. Is that how it works? Yeah. That's fucking cool. That's not how it works. Randy, shut the fuck up. All right, this podcast is brought to you by... Trailer Park Boys merch dot com. Go on there. All kinds of great shit like that. That's stupid. You know, That's got papers. Brought to you by Randy. Shitty cheeseburgers. Actually, yeah. they're pretty good. So we should sell these online, man. You got your own papers? Yes, we've got our own papers. Put the fucking thing Take back. Take a pack. For it's only three bucks. I don't owe you nothing. Okay. I made the burgers, Julian. This was supposed to be a happy show, and now you're just being all. You know what? You're being all tough. What are you talking about? I just don't like you. All right? Yeah, but Why don't I, I sit here and pretend that you're my friend? 
Julian would I go think back you're on way. I think Leahy's an idiot. Mm -hmm. We don't want to hang out with you. If you want to drop burgers off to us every now and then, maybe that's a good start. Yeah. Maybe we'll talk to you a bit more, but other than that, man, you can go fuck yourself, Randy. And also, just so you know, don't fuck around with me because I've been in training and I'll fucking, I could really hurt you bad now. Yeah. Training for what? Just one of my goals. Julian's been telling me I need to set goals because my life's been so fucked lately. That's true. Let's say that again. Well, goals are important. <coughs> if you don't have goals, then you're fucking basically just living. <coughs> I've got goals. I was reading part of that book Julian lent me on Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger. Very good book. Yeah. He says, don't say the word try. Is mm -hmm. that what it was? Don't try. Just do it. You do. I might. Don't say I might. Say I will. I thought it's that just was... shit. You just train your brain to do things like that. I thought that was sneakers. What? Just do it. Just, would you shut the fuck up? We're talking about something totally different. Well, yeah. I, I try maybe, so freaking jump a say, cheeseburger. Maybe I'm going to try and fight a bear, whereas I'm saying I'm fighting a fucking bear. Yeah, that's a good example, Ricky. See? You're learning. What do you I mean you're fuck, fighting a bear? Well, fucking that thing we were talking about last week. Guy in Ontario fought a bear. Yeah. Julian's telling me to set goals, so I'm thinking, why not combine the two? Fucking guy, in my mind, is a pretty fucking cool guy. He fought a bear. I want to be that guy. No, Ricky, you can't do, like, that was a good example. I said, you can't be going out trying to fuck get no fight with bear. Why not? It's a win-win situation for me, Julian. Either I fucking meet up a bear, fight him and kick the shit out of him, and I'll feel really good about myself, or the bear kicks the fuck out of me and knocks me down a level, and, you know, and then i got to rethink goals and life. Or kills you. Why don't fucking you kill me. They're not why don't you just go into just boxing or something, Ricky? I don't Anybody can box a person, Randy. I want to fucking box a bear or a shark, but I'm not a good swimmer, so a shark's going to be tricky. So a bear, at least it's, you know, it's on land. Sharks don't box, Ricky. No, shark, they're bitey animals. This, the, the bears that you fight in the woods are not like the bears you see in the circus with riding bikes. I'm not going to fight bears... a fucking grizzly right off the top. I'm going to start with a black bear. I don't know how big a they are. A black bear. Yeah. They don't, Rick, the thing I've been reading, they, don't, they normally stay away from people anyway. So Unless you to, come at them. What right. you plan on doing? You listen, man. That guy that that little story about the guy who boxed the bear mm -hmm. and the thing ran away. He got lucky. He obviously bumped into a fucking bear that was a pussy, right? That's probably gonna die because he it can't, you know, hunt like other bears because it's it's like him. Okay. What? He bumped into a bear that's like him. What? Well. Okay, there's there's tough bears probably and there's pussy bears. Right, and I'm ready for any I'm bear. I'm not a pussy You're, bear. That's why I have You're this. A pussy bear. Because they do have claws, they can claw the fuck out of you. So I do have this. It's going to hopefully help me a little bit. That's not going to do jack shit, man. You know? Did you ever see the bear claw? They got claws like that, man. Well, I was fucking trying to slice myself with a steak knife and it wasn't going through this. Didn't even cut it. You, yeah, but they got five steak knives in each hand, paw, whatever the frig it is. Well, they got to be fucking. Ricky, this is not a good idea. But, you know, if it's a big bear comes at me, I cut this coated with salt and vinegar chips, so it's very vinegary. So if it comes well, at me, I'll fucking Ricky, shove that right in. You, Ricky. I'll Watson. shove that right in his eyes, and that's going to fucking dizzy him and blind him a little but bit. But what do you, you cover that in salt and vinegar couple, chips? A couple shots, a couple Rick. hooks. Rick, a broom with, I mean, a, a mop with fucking salt and vinegar chips crust on it, that's not going to do jack shit to a bear. I also have this. It's my, nin my ninja shoe. Ricky. It's got a little spike through. It's not too big because I don't want to kill the little fucker, but if he gets out of hand, you know, I'll give him a couple little shots of that, and that'll set him back a little bit, hopefully. Again, that's not going to do jack shit. The problem I'm having is firing a fucking bear. I left a bunch of food out. Something ate it, but no bears came. Where did you leave the food out? Just out back. The trailer. Oh, God, that's why the animals are out of control. Ricky, you're an what? idiot. When have you ever seen a bear in fucking Sunnyvale? Well, that's so now I've been going to the woods, and I tried to leave a bit of food out in the woods. Didn't come. Tried banging a chick there, because I thought maybe that would attract a bear. Didn't come. Wait now, wait. You tried... Why would that attract a bear, banging a chick in the woods? I think some animals, that, if they smell like sex, they get some curious, and they come and check it out. I know it with moose, for sure. Because I... Well, you, one time I was banging Lucy, and a moose came out, and it wanted to try to bang me. A moose. We had to run naked no, through the woods because... for about a kilometer. Rick, man. Rick, Rick, Rick. The animals are like a moose. It's smelling 
a moose vagina. That's why it's going for. It's not smelling some chicks fucking, you know. That's two different things, man. It's two good. different scents. I haven't been banging in a while. Well, I'm glad you're getting banged, but, you know, taking a chick out to the woods to bang her because you want to get what what happens if the bear came up? You're going to fight well, the bear Well, I have to chick? stop what I was doing, get my equipment back on, hit it with the mop and fucking go at it, give it a few hooks. Yeah, but what if the thing went after the chick? Well, she chose to come, so... Oh, so... Ricky. If you so want to bang she Ricky, you're taking on. your life in your fucking hands. Maybe she could box the bear. I mean, I'd try to help her. I got a fucking salt and vinegar mop. So you're saying that if you box the bear, that's your goal. I don't think Arnold Schwarzenegger's goals were related to boxing bears. I think it was like, you know, save some money so that you could get a nicer trailer or move, freaking get your car replaced because it's a piece of shit. Like, that's a goal. Being better to your grandson or trying to save some money for his education. That's look, a goal. Look who's taught. What kind of goals do you have? How um, many cheeseburgers can I eat today? No. How many can I'm, I eat this week? I'm, some goals that I have have been, uh, instead of having two cheeseburgers with two buns, I'll have a double cheeseburger. Because the buns, they, they give you the shit sometimes. And if that happens, it's because of the, the wheat can make your shit go shitty. But the right meat to bun ratio with meat and cheese, that's the perfect type of burger. So if you have two doubles instead of four singles... You're getting the same amount of meat, a little less bun, just have and, and put some lettuce on it because then you got roughage. That's the goal. But I'm going back to school. You I'm gonna, are I'm gonna, fucked. I'm going You're back to fucked. school. You're a fucking idiot. You think that's what Ernst Schwarzenegger meant when he, he wasn't talking about cheeseburgers? No, I'm learning, cheeseburgers. Julian. I'm, I'm Next taking... time you do have the shits with your burger buns, come to the woods because maybe that'll attract the bears. I'd let a bear fucking have his way with you. He'd probably try to bang you. You look, like a, look like a beer. You smell like a bear. Seriously, when was the last time you've had a shower? See, that should be a goal. I'm gonna I wake shower up every fucking morning. Every and day. Have a shower. You don't shower. The every doctor day. says my sweat glands overwork. You mean sweat keeps your, your body your stink cool. Glands. So basically, I'm the coolest person in the world. And it's one of the smelliest and greasiest. And dumbest. I'm not and dumb. I'm taking some courses. I'm doing it on the computer. What kind of courses are you taking? Well, I, I wanted to learn how to crochet because it's important to know knitting Crochet. and crocheting. I'm going to make some nice stuff. I've done popsicle art, so now I'm just... Which was fucked. No, I sold a lot. That paid for a lot. How, many, how much gotta, did you make? Do you have do you have that figured out? How much did you actually that's make? That's personal, Julian. No, that's, how much? I would like to know. You don't ask a person how okay, much I'd they make. Okay, I'd just like to know how much, how much is a box of popsicles? Well, it depends so on what, five, not. six bucks? You, if you get the the larger size. But, I mean, the popsicle art is made by sucking on, on the popsicle and eating it. Don't ever, and you then, know what? Don't ever explain something like that to me again, okay? You can't just get popsicle sticks. Why not? Because that would be cheating, Julian. What? No one likes a cheater. But the way I see it, you didn't make wow. a fucking cent, man. You this spent is all the money on popsicles, and you made jack shit on the little fucking things that you sold. You, did, you definitely didn't make exciting than you talking about fighting a bear. Is it? That's or dumb. Banging that a chick dumb. in the woods? Dude, when was the last even... time you banged in the woods? Actually, don't answer that. I don't really want to know. Banging in the woods was good. I've, it's been a long time. Some people do that in a bed, Ricky. I met a girl at the four-way stop. Gave her the hook. 20 minutes later. Gave awesome. her the what? Gave her the hook. The hook? What's the hook? I don't know. Let me pull up. Four way stop was, you know, just a good looking girl, and yeah. you're trying to decide who's gonna let who go first, and then she starts to smile, and you smile, and just gave her the hook. You went like that, she yeah. followed you? So I took a right, she followed me, went to the woods, and thinking, may as well get two birds stoned at once, try to get the bear here with a little sex scent, and it was awesome. It was a good day, except no bear fight. Uh, okay, so you just, you, you don't even know this chick that you banged out in the woods. No. You just, you, you gave her the hook. She followed you. You explained to her that you're also going to hunt a bear, and that if that happens, if one comes up because of her scent, I didn't her tell her. About the, I didn't tell her about the bear thing before. I told her about it afterwards, and she was pretty fucking thought it was really fucked up, and she left. And that's why I didn't tell her before. I thought she might think it was a little weird, but it was great. I hadn't been banging a long time. I still so fucked Ricky. 
I bet the next time you pull up to a four-way stop, you see a cute little girl, you'd be thinking give about giving her the hook. hook. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give the hook a try, I guess. She either follows you or she doesn't. I mean, there was a lot said in those few little smiles, but, you know, she laughed and I giggled and then I gave her the hook. Fucking... Are you kidding me? <laughs> Just listen to him. Ricky Romance gives her the hook. There was a little <laughs> smile and she smiled back and there was a twinkle in her fucking eyes and then he went and fucked the shit of her and hoping to find a bear. She was ready to go bear bird too, but I didn't. Oh, man. I don't know why people watch your show, honestly. You guys are idiots. No, you're an idiot. No, I'm, I'm the only smart one here with real goals. I'm going to go <clears> back <throat> to school and take stuff on courses, maybe to small crochet. engine. And some small engine repair. I'm going to do it. You can do these things right on your computer, Julian. You don't even have to leave your trailer. Ricky's goal is to fight a bear with ninja shoes and a mop with friggin' chips on the friggin' thing. It's better than fucking crow sh shady. Yeah, well, what, uh, you're going to end up getting yourself killed. <clears throat> oh, I doubt it. <clears throat> Someday, Randy, I'm going to be on the news. You'll be like, fuck, I was wrong. Ricky yeah. took the fuck out of that bear and he's famous. No, mangled by a fucking bear. More famous for mangling. <sighs> Here, Randy, why don't you fucking do this? It's a great idea. There's a goal for you. Look at that dude. Cut off your ears and look like a parrot. The Did man we... who cut off his ears and looks like... He does look like a parrot. Wow. Why would you do that? Let me see that fucking thing. He looks like a parrot. The man but... who cut off his ears to look like a parrot. The guy's... Is that tattoo shit? All right, this guy's got tattoos. He cut off his ears. He does look like a parrot, but why would you do that? his goal, I guess. He probably read the Arnold Schwarzenegger book, too. Well, he said, fuck see, saying I'm going to try. I'm fucking doing this. You can't, Ricky, when I, you just can't, everything can't be a goal. Like, you don't do stupid goals. Man. That's a real parrot lying on his head. I don't know. Julian's taking over my life. It's great. He's no, got pet can't. parrots. He's 56. You got to think of goals that are going to better yourself, not fucking make you look like a fucking parrot, cut your ears off. I don't or know. bang chicks in the woods and try to fight bears. Where, like, you got it. like... I can fight a dog. It's That'd artistic. I got my hair cut. Why don't you want to fight a fucking dog, though? I got a nice haircut. It's just about thin. fighting different things. Taller and, and thinner. And you want to fight something that has a chance. You want to, like, you wouldn't beat the fuck out of a cat. He's got a parrot haircut. Or a deer. Would you the fuck up this parrot guy? What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, I got my hair cut nice. And you look it, like a dick. Look, look at it. You've got, like, a box head now. Yeah, I look taller and thinner. No, you look You look fucked. kind of dumb. And you still look... Why would you get your hair cut like that? Well, you got your hair cut, and Bubbles gave me enough money to get some... make up some burgers, and I got my hair cut. I, I got my hair cut, Randy, because this thing wasn't really fitting on my head that well. All right, it's the only reason. Probably doesn't even fit your stupid head. Randy, you're about five seconds away from getting tackled, so just... Just throwing that out there. Probably better to tackle a person than a bear, you dummy. Well, why don't you Scratch put on a bear costume and I'll fucking see what you got. That'd be nice. Julian, don't be an instigator. I'm sitting here in the middle of, of this shit, boys. Don't talk about bears. Don't talk about well for the rest of the podcast. So I want to do this. You know, Bubbles is still out on the road. Is he Is he back? Was he over Guns N' Roses or something? I, I what was he doing? I don't know. Was he, he, he was trying with my fucking seal a lot, and he was trying to bang Beaver. All right, so there's a few things that came up since he's been gone. And he was hired to do something for Axel, or... It's, what's fluffing? Is that a job? No, I'm just joking. I was, uh... I was, uh, Worked for Alex Lifeson once. <clears throat> Rashes. This, this road I sign gets sto stolen briefly. every two months. You what? I was Alex Lifeson from Rashes Guitar Tech briefly. What do you mean? You're you don't even play a guitar. No, but I was. I won a contest. Don't you remember? What'd you do for him? I well, he tried to make me wear a stupid shirt. I, I don't wear shirts anyway. I, you know what? I, I can understand. Rock and roll's an interesting business, guys. Very interesting, <laughs> folks. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck are you talking about? Yeah, it sure is. Well, it's 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 uh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And so, were you involved in any of those? The three things? Maybe a little drugs. I guess it's four things. And the rock and roll. Did you just rock or just roll or did you rock and roll? Ricky. You had sex with Alex Lyson, didn't you? <laughs> did you try? Julian. Did he Do you try? find him attractive? Well. 
Yeah, in a little way, maybe. Are you attracted to his talent or just to his body? This. Uh, why don't you bring up another no, story? No, what color eyes does he have? Um, I think they're brown. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I don't really think of his eyes. <laughs> Can't help you out. So that's all right. If you have a crush on him, that's fine. I don't man. have He's a, a nice crush on him. It's all right. Like, that bubbles went with, with uh, Guns and Roses, and I've, I've actually been with Rush. It, it, it's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. All right, what's this thing? Oh, there's a street uh, sign. It gets stolen every couple months, apparently. Horny Town Road. It's amazing. I like to have a copy of it. Put on my street. Well, let's go there. Butthole Road, Knob Fields, Fanny Hands Lane. Like, great, man. Ricky, who gives a fuck? How long can we talk about that? Horny. Well, I'm extra horny now. Horny road. You know how you haven't been banged while then you get banged and then you're extra horny? That's In me. British Columbia, there's one called Anus Road. Really? Have you yeah. ever been on it? Well, I was hitchhiking briefly, and I repeat briefly. Uh, but beautiful province. When you mean, when you say hitchhiking, do you mean hooking for... No, Burgers. I was just going from A to B. You, you were hitchhiking, hitchhiking on Anus Road. I just, it ended up, it's, it's, I mean, I didn't mean to be on Anus Road, but. It seems like an awful a, big coincidence. Yeah, kind of to me. someone that prostitutes themselves every if, now and then. If someone's on driving Anus by road. that's into anything, and they see a fucking man with no shirt on on Anus Road looking for a ride, what the fuck do you think they're hoping for? Well, maybe just going to drive you to the goodness of their cocks. I mean, maybe they, they live at the end of <laughs> Anus Road, um, and there's, there's a crossroad. All right. Well, <laughs> this has been amazing, nice, Randy. Thanks for telling us that, dumbass. Well, so does does Leahy did, does Leahy know that you prostitute yourself out every now and then? Where did pro what are you talking about prostitution? Well, you're on Anus Road, man, trying that to was, hitchhike. No, this you're was like years ago. I was just, I was going across Canada. Were you or were you not prostituting yourself I, out on I, Anus Road? I, I was not at that time. Bullshit. I wasn't. Randy, no. So was Do you want to hang out with us again? Listen. Don't lie. What do you give for a ride? It wasn't a about handy. prostitution. <laughs> it was about okay, just how trying, much I do was you trying what to get to... What are your rates? Listen, Julie. What Do you have group rates? So, I just I just didn't don't agree understand to come it, on man. the show and talk about all this, this no, I, stuff. Okay, that's the past, and and we'll leave it there. All right, I don't need that. I now that's why I've got it. these goals. I'm telling you, but where I'm taking courses on the computer, and I'm gonna, it's gonna make me smarter. And you know, I could do it. And just like, just like, you know, Mr. Schwarzenegger says, you could do things if you put your mind to it, and just take a little bit of time for yourself instead of. You know, like all the bullshit, like cleaning septic tanks out. And <laughs> Mrs. McDonald's septic tank. So is there like a guideline for hitchhiking? Like what, what you have to do for how many miles? Or Well, normally you go on the side of <laughs> the, side of the road that you want to go to. Like 10K. Like if that, you want to go like little... that way, you got to be on that side. Other way, the other side. Because no one's going to turn around for you. All right, I'm sorry that I fucking asked. Yeah. It was very... Don't ask a question like that again. All right, there's a story here that, that just happened, like I said. Okay. I kind of want to try to make Bubbles feel like he's missing out, because he is. All right, what is it? NASA. Oh, space story, right on. Their feed goes dead after unidentified object passes through space towards the Earth. They've got footage of this fucking light coming down, and then they lost feed, you know, of everything. NASA, I mean, that, that's pretty big shit, man. They did it on purpose. A light came down? Nope. It was a fucking UFO from another planet. And NASA said, if this gets out there, it's going to be fucking panic everywhere. So we have to shut the cameras down. That's what I think happened. That's, that, that, that's what I think happened as well, man. Yeah. They what just... do you think happened, Randy? Something dumb? Maybe the power went out or the fucking batteries died? Idiot. I believe in UFOs. I think they're Good. real. And... Uh, I've already seen a couple, so there. I mean, if anything, UFOs probably think that we're fucked, you know, and they're just like, yeah, we got a UFO, but... The UFO or the alien? 
Well, they're going to the, the alien that, that's, that's driving. Fun. I mean, it's possible that they're like probes, Fuck. and they just aliens are sending them out just <clears> like they do in the movies, and they're checking shit. And they looked at us and they went, "They're fucked." Oh, I think they that's got what it all is. these we're not bombs and shit. Yeah. And they think we're too dumb to be a threat. Just we're no, we're just fucked. Is they're saying, you know what? If you go there, you might get stupid. You know, there's war and the we're hurting our ozone la- layer. I, I have to wear sunscreen because I get a sunburn because we've we've destroyed the ozone layer. Oh my fucking Jesus god, Christ. I, Brandy. You're so that, fucking uh, boring, man. Yeah, but You're killing if, me. if everybody out there did one thing... I heard that marijuana smoke fixes the ozone, so people should smoke more weed. Yeah, I don't think marijuana smoke hurts it, Ricky. I think it's cars. Yeah. Marijuana smoke hurts and cars? And jets, all the jets going around in the air, up close. Up, there's yeah, they need to make at least a thousand jets going around. They need to make an electric jet. Yeah! See, Ricky? That's a goal. Electric jets. Or a windmill jet or something. A windmill jet. Yeah. Man. When the fuck is Bubbles supposed to be getting back here? I don't know, but he better not be playing with my fucking seal again, I can tell you that. If he's he's I'm telling you, if he's so playing with the seal instead of being here where he should be, helping us, we're gonna have to sit down and have some kind of a talk with him, man. Alright, here's a good story. There's this dude. In Iran, they call him the Hulk of Iran. He wants He's had enough of all this fucking terrorism shit. He wants to do something about it. Chip, if you have a picture of this guy, Holy throw him up. Fuck. He looks like a fucking cartoon character, <laughs> man. fucking huge. This guy is he's... massive. He looks like the Hulk. Whoa. So, instead of wanting to fight a bear, he wants to fight fucking terrorists. That's a pretty good goal. Yeah, that's that's his goal. Maybe See, I should look. take my mop. Look at this fucking guy. Ninja all right, fruit. but... All right, guy, you're... you're you're pretty big there, dude, but what are you going to fucking do? A gun would hack you down in a second. That's the problem. Yeah. What, are they going to bounce off you? You're not Superman. You're just a big motherfucker. It'd be cool if you could work out enough that your muscles See, would be you bulletproof. This, this guy's a lot like you. He's going to take on all the fucking terrorists, right? Just because yeah. he's big. Mm-hmm. And you're going to take on a fucking bear. Yeah. It's, same, it's, it's ridiculous. I think it's good. I think it's good to have goals. Oh, is this guy going to be like commando? Like, huh? Have you ever seen anybody that big? No, oh, the guy's massive, but like... Well, you don't, maybe his muscles are so big that they're bulletproof. But he's not like the Hulk, man. He's not going to go in and just start kicking ass and taking yeah. care of business, man. You wouldn't want to get fucking... All they'd do is go like this, him. throw a grenade at him. <laughs> he'd be fucked. Yeah. Because you know he's not running fast. What if he got grenades? Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He needs to be, like, heavily armed, and he needs more than just himself. He should go on at people like He should get some. Get some grenades. And a bulletproof skin-tight suit. All right, Randy. Think this guy's hot or not hot? He's kind of scary looking, actually. Uh, So does that mean he's hot? No, he just means he's kind of scary. Do you like your, you know, your mate to be smaller or bigger? Julian. This well, I'm is just a asking. Personal like, question. I don't know. You flip flop all the time. I kind of like. That you, I like, honestly think and I'm totally that cool with all of it, man. He, like, he's got just, big muscles, but you know they're really, really big and a little scary. Like, your muscles, Julian, are nice. Like, you know, like your. <laughs> really? Would you shut the fuck well, up? And the way don't you talk, wear. Hey, we're talking about the Hulk the black from Iran. <laughs> it's very toning. Now, Randy, I understand I why Mr. Leahy thinks that you're attractive because Would you shut the fuck you up. You know, your eyes they they dance blue, right? Randy, and they it shows dance. It, what do you mean they dance? Well, when he looks into the sun, they sparkle, and <laughs> and when he has his drink and it jingles and sparkles, right? And the earring it gives you a sense of what bad the boy. Fuck is he? Randy, 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 just a little Randy, bit. and then Randy, you look good in a shoe, fuck Julian. Up. You You're, look good in a shoe. Fucking Here, eat the, shut the fuck up. Oh. Enough of this, man. You, you ruined my burger, Julian. I got real. We're talking about other things, man. I'm glad I got, I got extra napkins. I guess you ask what I find attractive in a man, and uh, well, you're, we were you're talking a about man. something totally yeah, different. Apparently, it's who is anybody that looks like Julian. Julian. Yeah, so like just don't like. Can you show me those tricep workouts again, Julian? Are you flattered, Julian? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> All right, we're I mean, moving on. You ruined a, a perfectly good burger, Julian. Like, Hitler's oh, Hitler's this. birthplace. They want to destroy it. Okay, he was born in. Uh, he was not handsome. 
okay? Look, okay. I mean, anyone that has a mustache like that is an idiot. Yeah, he totally ruined it for everybody with that mustache, Sucks. didn't he? I, I, I might I even rock so. one of those, but not now. No. All right, so he he, he was born in Your this little town in Austria. Shut the fuck up. And they want to tear down this building, okay? So people are freaking out. We got, like... Tear it the fuck down. Neo-Nazi people moving in and shit. And they're just saying, hey, enough of this stuff. We got to just tear it down. Do so it. they might. They might turn it into a grocery store, actually. Why don't they just move it and don't tell anybody? And then someone homeless could have a house. They were actually thinking about doing That's that. That's a good idea. Put some just... homeless people in there. See, this is a story that Bubbles would like. That's because exactly. you know what he's—he's he's terrified. Don't the hurt the is. house again. That's harmful to the environment. But don't tell anyone that he freaking lived there because that would just be horrible. Well, they were renting this place up for sixty, well, seven thousand bucks a month almost. Wow. Oh, fuck, those things are good. Whatever they are. What are those, man? Little eggs. Yeah, suck one for. Which one? What color? I went red. All right, okay. All right. I think that's it, guys. I've had enough of hanging out with you, Randy. What are you guys going to do after this? You guys going to go do anything together? I'm going to go oh, online and learn more about some of my, my goals that I have. Ricky, I think you should... Uh, that's great, Randy. Go why don't you set five goals for the next show, and then you can come in and tell everybody. Why don't you fuck off in five different ways for the next show? That's a good goal for you. All right. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> I wasn't prepared for oh, Randy. Get the fuck off, Ricky. Is that burn? Feel the burn, baby. Yeah, you're making me cry, for freak's sake. Yeah, see, if you were a bear right now, I'd just come in and fucking dummy you. You're not going to fight a bear, man. I'm going to put my, my foot down on that. You will die. What All else right? could I fight? Just hit the pot on us? Go, go into a gym and hit a heavy bag or something. You don't have to fight an animal. Rhyo Fighting animals, that's the stupidest goal. What about a rhinoceros? No, you're not you're not gonna go fight a rhinoceros, man. That's a huge animal. Is it slow? No, man. It's just massive. It'll fucking it would eat it would tear you apart with that big horn. I'd fight a deer, but they don't really have any attack mode. Go you know here's a go fight Randy. Alright. Pick it up, fight with him out in the park lot, just kick the shit out of him. Good luck, man. <sighs> Thank you.